this Excel spreadsheet allow you to have an overall view of uh, what are your the daily requirements in resource vs the availability that you have and that for the full year. So it takes into account your resourcing uh, availability that is on different spreadsheet here. You can put the full year and it uh, takes into account uh, the requirement that you have, the total resource requirement that are showing here. And uh, just uh, showing you quickly how this works, you input some settings here that give you the month where you start, the weekend, yes, no, you put a shift at the beginning and uh, all that the incidentals that you could have, the overheads as a percentage to calculate, uh, to calculate an effective time of work, uh, the capacity warning and uh, the resource types. And for the calls, uh, the tickets and the site visits uh, you input your requirements here, so by working days, by number of visits, or by calls, by number of calls, and AHT. I calculate all that and speed out some charts if required, and taking into account the resourcing, it would give you this. This was for the high level. Now let's go into more detail. The first uh, starting point is in a settings. We just uh, want to go into settings to set a few things here. So the months uh, to start, uh, you put the month and a year here and uh, what what I, that will drive the way the year is looking so that will put down as a first month here so you you can uh, suggest you start from january and every every year you you redo it but uh, what if you really want to start mid year or another month it's possible here you say if you work on weekends or not so that will be impacting uh, the overall summary here so that will gray them out uh, that will not tell you, oh, we need people when uh, actually it's a weekend. And here you input the shift length. So here you put the shift length and all the uh, other components here that I am highlighting here will be some potential things that we will reduce the effective time of work. So just let me give you exa an example here. So the shift, let's say here it's eight hours and you can put the shift for every X days. So I, here I'm just going to keep it simple. Uh, it's eight hours for one day because you, but you could put also 40 hours for five days. So eight hours for one day. And so that will give you an availability before and all the other components here will be deducted uh, to come up with a, a more realistic uh, availability factor. Otherwise, you could plan everything is going okay for eight hours, but people get sick, uh, people have lunch or whatever. And this is what all this is about. So here you, you have two main components. You can just put the over, um, hourly overhead, uh, which is by time, and the other component is more by, by percentage. Okay, so let's just go through going through this example that I think is set by default. Here, for instance, I have lunch and I say this is one hour every day. But you have the, the, the choice, like I did here for comfort bread, for instance, is to have 10 hours for 20 days if you prefer. But nothing prevents you from having everything for uh, one day. And here that gives me a daily average. You know, for instance, training and coaching is not something that you'll do uh, every day, but you want to take that into account when you look at your resources um, across one year. And uh, that gives you a, a different availability, so that uh, uh, reduces your availability overall. So you had eight hours to start with, and now you, you're working with 5.5 hours. And then you have a, an occupancy percentage. So that is up to you. Um, it's taking into account a lot of things, <laughs> you know, the sick leave, uh, anything uh, that you want. And then there, there are also the overhead percentage. So here we were deducting based on R, but here we are now deducting uh, based on percentage. It could be called the shrinkage, for instance. So the, all those don't need to be used, or you can use just the R or not the percentage, or you can maybe just uh, uh, bluntly just use the percentage occupancy and you'll be happy with this. So this is uh, dependent on how you want to use it, but here you have a lot of options. Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look quickly at this. So this is a capacity warning, so that will just uh, uh, tell you when it warns you, <laughs> when you need the... Uh, uh, people, so uh, just a different color here, for instance, I just need one uh, because my uh, uh, threshold is at three, but as soon as it goes under three, like 16, here it's six. So that just drives the color, this, this component here. And here we have the resource type. 
So the resource type will be used when you when we do our resourcing. We can put the name of our resource and then we can select a resource type from this. And that's it. So I put it, everything under settings to avoid having too many tabs because we already have quite a few tabs. So here you have three components, calls, tickets, and site visits. So calls and tickets are mirror image. Uh, they are very uh, similar because it's time spent on a call. And site visit could be uh, something else for you. So this is just the time it will take to, to, to go and fix things on site. Um, but you might have something else in your business model. So that's up to you to decide. So let's start with calls, for instance. Here there's a lot of information, but you only need to worry about the yellowish part here. So here for every month, you would put uh, the number of working days. Uh, you would put the uh, forecast for the month. How many calls are you expecting? You know, based on the time of year, you might have more around Christmas or whatever. So this is uh, for you to decide. I didn't want to have one fix. You can just, if it's the same, you can just copy every day. But here I have I've assumed that in May you have a big spike. Maybe you're launching a new product or whatever, what, what the reason is. But you can just manually. And it, what is important to, to uh, put as well is the working days. This is done manually. It's for you. Do you have public holidays? Do you have anything? This is some, not something that the system can do for you because we don't, know, don't even know where you work. We don't know when the public holidays are. We don't even know if you work on weekends or not. I mean, we know that uh, because it's on the settings. But this, is, uh, this doesn't tell us really how many days you work in a month. So this is critical. You need this and this. And this, this is AHT. So this is average handling time. This is a, a term that is being used by call center. But your new business line, you might have something else. Um, so it, 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 here you put that uh, amount here in seconds. And I just have all the units here. So it's 100% clear. And that will do uh, various calculations based on your staff availability and the likes. And at the end, I will speed out the agents requires for calls. Remember, we are still in call, so it's just for this component here. And here, if you, I don't want to go through every little uh, component. I think it's just all the behind the scene calculations that I'm uh, making. Uh, for instance, at the end, how many calls an agent can take? It can take 891 calls. That's a bit scary, isn't it, for the month? Um, but the calls are relatively short here. So this is for the call requirements. Now for the tickets, different color, um, but it will uh, be the same thing. Uh, the difference is here, put tickets, obviously, <laughs> instead of calls, um, but you would, have, uh, you would be doing the same thing, and at the bottom you would have for every month the amount of agent requires. You know, if you're curious here, these little things in gray before, it's something that I used to, to double check. I calculate things differently, and it should be the same. Um, I could hide it, but uh, I think sometimes I like to show what's happening behind the scenes. So once again, only worry about the uh, yellowish part. And you might have a different working day, amount of working days for calls, tickets, or site visits. So this is why every time you need to put it. But bear in mind, it's in mom, on a monthly basis. So you do that maybe once a year. So I don't think it's too much of an impost. And it's something the system needs to know. So site visits. So this is a different, uh, different because uh, we're not talking about calls. We're not talking about uh, average uh, H T here. Um, it's more average visit time. So here, for instance, I'm expecting to give to have 50 visits at four hours each. And at the bottom here, agent request for visit two. Same calculation, because it's the same stuff, so they have the same constraint, whether they go inside visit or not. So this gives you also the uh, uh, agents required. OK, so once you've done call tickets and site visit, it's time to go to charts. So you go to charts. So that gives you gives you trends. Uh, charts are, are best for trends, I, be uh, I believe. So here you have the site visits, how many uh, you require here you have the tickets how many you require they put the amount at the top and here uh, calls how many are required so quite consistent for calls here for every month obviously and that's it uh, now here this is the accumulation done now this is to be used if you have the same obviously uh, 
type the same uh, type of staff can do everything so here that gives you the overall re uh, requirement the overall resource that you need so at the moment we don't look at uh, resource availability this is just the, the demand this is just the resource requirements now the summary is here so let's have a look just at the top at the moment agent requires for calls this is just a summary as a table and if you have a, a the total resource requirement here this assuming that obviously obviously this is all the same type of uh, resource but if you want to be <coughs> excuse me more granular then you can go here and you have a look at that now before I go into the daily availability, we need to have a look at resourcing. So resourcing, if you've downloaded some of other of my spreadsheets, you might be familiar with this format here that I like. So here, this is day by day. I don't give you the, the opportunity to put it weekly or the likes. I want you to put it day by day. And um, you have the weekends highlighted here. So if you're consistent, you should you, you should not put the availability on weekends. If you said, if you mention here, work on weekend no so you shouldn't put anything here but that gives you the availability and you have all year you know here starting in may june i'm going a bit fast july so you can put everything here so 100 percent mean fully available here you have how many oh you have 50 resources uh, you have the resource tab that i mentioned and if the resource is available 100 percent you just put 100%. Bear in mind that this 100% will be taken into account, obviously, uh, in a shift length here, 100% is eight hours. That's, uh, that's the idea to start with um, until we start applying all the other components. Okay, so now we have the, uh, the demand, the requirements, and we have the resourcing. And what we do is we just bring all those together and then a uh, mom vibe mom what does that give us that give us this <laughs> um the first of may here i have a plus two so what does that mean that means that uh, we are two resources too many that uh, they're not going to do know what to do um you if you want to be more granular you can just press on this and have 1.5 here instead of two um but i didn't want this to be too cluttered i think it's a bit too cluttered when you when you put this but you know you could put it if you wanted so this this is the daily availability so here because i have put uh we can no i've just have grayed out and if i put we can yes i'm going back to the summary and here, who I need 15 because um, the resources here, I didn't plan for anyone for that weekend here, which is, this is August, so this is not the right weekend, but for this weekend here, the fourth and the, and the fifth, the fourth and the fifth, I didn't plan for anything because we assumed there was no weekend work. So let's go back here. Let's just put weekend work, no. And then we can go back to the summary here. So this is, this gives you the, the ID for the full year. So here you realize that you have too many uh, here that you have not enough, but that could be because you didn't put the resource re uh, availability yet. So you might not use these for the 12 months because you might not know who, who will be there in six months time, let alone uh, 12 months. So, um, but this is it. So this gives you a very high level uh, resource requirements and the availability you have based on the staff that you currently have. So if you still uh, don't know how it works, so it's all a little bit, uh, this yellow color here, this is really the only place where you should input stuff. So here I put stuff here. I put nothing up here, such visit. The only yellow part is here. Tickets, calls, the only yellow part is at the top, same thing. It's in the settings, it's just look at the yellow part and it's all in there. And if you struggle, go into instructions, have a look here, Azure of Kylan, only cells in yellow need to be updated. And here you have everything here. This is giving you some instructions if you wanted 